Yeah. I, I didn't know Al Golden personally, but I, I know who Al Golden was, right? I knew Al Golden is the head coach um, at Temple and at Miami um, and had an unbelievable reputation. And so it was a unique opportunity for me to kind of interview a person over time. And so we were able to do Zoom interviews while they were, um, you know, kind of going through their season just to stay in contact, just to talk. But I wanted to respect his process of preparing each week um, for the Cincinnati Bengals. And so um, I was looking for a guy with head coaching experience. I was that was to me something that we did not have on our staff that I thought was going to be extremely valuable. And um, he has that but also a guy that has intelligence. The more we met, the more we talked, I learned right around, well, right away, this, this person understands football. He understands scheme. And, and, you know, I was also looking for a person that didn't want to come in here and just drop his playbook, right? And say, hey, this is what we're doing. No, Al Golden was a guy that said, hey, let me evaluate what you all are doing. Let me evaluate your players and let's put together the best scheme, right? And, and ultimately he is the deepest coordinator. And I want to make sure everybody understands Al Golden's deepest coordinator. Marcus Freeman is not the deepest coordinator and he has to take this thing over. But the ability to come in and to adapt to what our players know, I think is a huge benefit for our players. My job is to always take care of our players, right? And so this will be their third defensive coordinator in three years. And so if you talk about three defensive schemes in three years, that's, that's difficult, that's tough. But the ability for somebody to come in and say, okay, let me learn what they know. And then let's enhance it from there. That to me was what I was looking for.